Based on the lineup, it appears that Abang Johari is relying on the tried and tested faces as it strives to become a developed state by 2030. Here to give her comments on the new cabinet lineup is UITM Sarawak senior lecturer Dr. Nur Aida Kipli. The first one is the formations of the cabinet itself. We can see that. Uh, the chief minister assists by the three deputy chief ministers, which they are capable, experienced, and well versed about the political and socio-economic of Sarawak. The second thing, it is a mixture of young and experienced leaders will be able to further strengthen the leaderships under Abang Jo. We call it so-called Team Abang Jo for more developed and progressive Sarawak. The second one, the new creations of the public health portfolio. I can see it is a proactive step taken and also proves uh, the concern by the new Sarawak leadership teams in protecting uh, the people of Sarawak from this uh, pandemic. And we as a Sarawak can believe that this new portfolio will be able to help intensify uh, the government's effort in tackling uh, this problem. Despite a largely unchanged lineup, Dr. Noida believes that the new government will bring about positive changes in its path of becoming a high-income state by 2030. The Sarawak Chief Minister has, strategi has strategized his plan by ensuring that each of his ministers will carry out and as well as to perform their responsibilities as mentioned in the GPS manifesto. So the action as a group, I call teamwork, will be the benchmark for economic stability and growth for Sarawak in the next five years. So the main focus here is to make sure that the people of Sarawak will enjoy the progress and develop without regretting the election results in the state election. So it is a way forward for Sarawak to, uh, to be an advanced nation.